Washington is expected to start Adrian Peterson against the Cowboys this Sunday. And I'm very happy about that. I'm glad that he's going to be playing this Sunday because we could use him. I don't know what Jake Gruden was thinking. I don't know why he was a healthy scratch against the Eagles. This makes no sense to me. I understand that they want to start Darius Geis. I don't have a problem with that. My problem is, is that Adrian Peterson did not play last Sunday against the Eagles. The good thing is, he's going to start against the Cowboys. And he's going to do great things this Sunday. In fact, I'm going to predict that Washington will defeat the Cowboys. Because reportedly, a lot of the Redskin veterans were upset that Adrian Peterson was benched. That he was a healthy scratch. So they're going to use what happened last week as motivation this Sunday. And we know that when Washington plays Dallas, the games are usually close. They're usually nail biters. So that's going to happen again this Sunday. So the Washington will probably beat Dallas. I say the score will be 20 to 17. It's going to be a low scoring affair. And Adrian Peterson, he's going to do great things this Sunday. He's going to rush for over 100 yards. I've got him rushing for 125 yards, in fact. He's going to be that bell car running back that we know. He's going to run through that Cowboys defense. He's going to score probably about two touchdowns. And he's going to lead us to victory. I'm telling you, he's going to have a great game. He's going to catch some passes too. Because not only can Adrian Peterson tote the rock, he can catch the ball. He's great, man. This man can still play. Last season, he had over a thousand yards rushing. So we know he can be a bell cow for Washington. And the thing is, he's going to be playing down the road as well a lot for Washington because Darius Geis is out. He had surgery on his knees reportedly and is going to be out for a couple of months. So Adrian Peterson will be our bell cow. He will be running the ball for Washington and he's going to do great things for that team. It's going to start this Sunday coming up with the Cowboys and down the road. So I'm glad Washington has started him. And I'm saying this, and this may surprise people, but I've got to say this. Even if Darius Geis comes back, I think Adrian Peterson should still start. I don't think he should lose his job to Darius Geis. Now, don't get me wrong, Darius Geis is a great running back. And he is the future running back for Washington. There's no doubt about that. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I just feel that at this stage of the game, he should be the backup. Edgy Peterson should be the starter. There should be nobody else on that roster that should be starting ahead of Adrian Peterson. He has proven his value to the team. He's proven that he can play in the league. We've seen what he can do when, when he was with Minnesota. We saw what he could do, even with the Cardinals. We saw what he was able to, to do. We saw how productive he was. Now, this didn't go too well with the Saints because we know that the Saints like to rotate their running backs. But other than that, when he's been the main guy, when he's been the primary ball carrier, we've seen how explosive, how dynamic, how great he is on the field. So it's going to start this Sunday coming up. He's going to just carry that ball. He's going to carve up that Cowboys defense. And they're going to be in for a long, hard day. So that's what I believe will happen. And I'm telling you now, don't be surprised if he leads the league. I would say lead the league in rushing. But don't be surprised if he's one of the top five running backs this season in the NFL. Because he can still play. He can still run. He is healthy for the most part. And he's always been productive. We have a large sample size of him being productive, being able to tote the rock. So it's going to be a great season for him. And I look forward to watching him play against the Cowboys. And I'm looking forward to watching him play this whole season. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. 
you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already because I'll be putting out more videos like this. So just press the red subscribe button below this video so you won't miss out on any future content that I post. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.